So, I took a 20 minute break from saying I'm so excited. I said it. I'm so excited. Okay. Hmm. I want to talk about something else. Not really, but I should. Because I'm really happy about this too. Because I just am. And I've found a really big fangirl side of me, other than the Michael Jackson fangirl side of me. I love fantasy. I love fantasy. I love I love romance that has something to do with some like fantasy thing. <laughs> um like vampires. That's sort of fantasy. It's not science fiction and it's not fact, so it's fantasy. Um I like romance between vampires and humans. And I don't really like Twilight. Like, when I was reading the book, I thought I liked Twilight because everybody else was reading the book and everybody else seemed to be enjoying it. And so I was like, ooh, I want an Edward! Ooh, I want an Edward! I was, like, so Team Edward when I was reading the books. And so then I saw the first movie. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I totally fell in love with Jacob. Um... And then that lasted for, like, half a year. And then, like, the second movie came out. And then it just started getting really, really bad. And then I'm like, you know what? I don't like Twilight anymore. I may, you know, suffer through the movies when I'm really bored. But, you know, I'm not a fan of it. Like, I used to have a, a Jacob Twilight, a Jacob, um, Black, Jacob Black poster. But I took it down because I was like, ugh. Get it off my wall, please. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I also love Vampire Diaries a lot. I love it. I love it. Um, and in that, I used to be Team Stefan at the beginning. Um, and actually, right now, I'm sort of like in between. You know how it is. Um, <laughs> I think a lot of people are actually. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, because it seems like when two people that you want to be together, like when you're watching a TV show and you want two people to be together and you're like, oh my god, I just can't wait until they're, they're together. The people that are doing the show, like the people behind the show, are not going to put them together because then they'll, they'll be like, okay, what else are they going to look forward to? If that's the only thing they're looking forward to and we give it to them, they, they'll be like, oh, thank you. And then they'll turn off the TV and they won't watch it anymore. So whatever you want is not going to happen. Um... So at the beginning, I was Team Stefan, like, for the first couple, like, episodes. And then they got together, and I'm like, okay, they're cute. And then, um, and then, you know, Stefan. I'm not Stefan, Damon. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I'm just so excited. I keep on messing up my words. Like, in the last, like, in the last video, when I meant to say, um, Alice in Wonderland, I said Mad Hatter. I mean, that's not a big mistake, because he's in it, but, like, God, I'm just, I'm just so out of it right now. Um. What was I talking about? Okay, so Damon. I like Damon. He's sexy, you know? He's got a really nice body. I mean, well, no, Stefan has a better body, actually. But they're both really sexy. And Damon has, like, the sexy blue eyes and the sexy face. And just sexy. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you get it? Um, and so, like, I was like, oh my god, they need to, like, make out or something. They need to, like, do it or something. And, you know, I need something. And so, you know, that happened. And so, and then, you know, the, the whole thing happened with Stefan turning into a, whatever he is, like a evil person. Um, and then, like, you know, Elena and Damon, like, started getting kind of serious. Like, they're not together together, but, like, I haven't seen the most recent episode, okay? So, um, so her and Damon have kissed and kissed, yeah. And so, like, she likes him. It's obvious. He likes her. Obvious. Um, but then you're like, okay, do they have Stefan anymore? Ooh, they should get together. They should, like, make out. Oh, my God. They should, like, do it. They should, like, kiss or something. <laughs> and then you're, like, back to the beginning. And it's like, I see what you did there. Um, oh, yeah. Just a bit higher. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I love that kind of romance. It's like, oh. <sighs> first he's out, you know, like eating people, and then he comes back and he, you know, <laughs> um, 
<laughs> that's so weird. I know. Um, and then I've started watching this new show. Well, I started watching this show, like, when it started, but I don't have TV, so I watch it on abc.com. Um, it's called Once Upon a Time. Um, and it's great. Like, I'm really sad about that guy. I, like, totally forgot his name now, but he was, like, him and Emma had a thing for each other, and then they kissed, and, like, all this stuff happened, and then, like, he died, like, right after they kissed, and I was like, what the, what the, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, because I was, like, so happy that they were finally together, and at the end of the episode, he died, I'm like, fuck you, you stupid fucking evil queen, but then I'm like, okay, bring in the new guy, and that seems to have happened, um, with the, um, the new guy in town, who I think is the writer of story, story, the story, the story thing, um, but I might be wrong, I have no idea, um, neither do all of you, um, god, um, so the romances in that are good, like the Snow White and the Prince James or Prince Charming or something, it was sort of good at the beginning, and it's sort of still weird actually um and so that's not like no that's not my favorite one um <sighs> what other romances are there there's like not any other romances um but the new one the new one that just came up it was only in one episode well and then there was a little bit of one of the people that's in the relationship to that ship that i love in another video the uh dreamy video the dreamy episode um so rumple still skin and Bell video. Episode. Episode. Oh my god. I love it. Like, I fell in love. I fell in love with them. They're just so, so romantic and so sad. It's like, oh my god. During every scene that they were in, my heart just started going, <sighs> I like started freaking out. I love them so much. And Robert Carlyle. Yeah. I think that's it. Carlyle. I like, kill myself if I'm saying it wrong or if I like forgot his name and I'm just saying some random name because I just sort of learned his name yesterday or a day before or a day before that um oh my god they're so cute it's like I liked Rumble Stilts game before like I was like oh my god he's my favorite character because he's just like so cute and like so like eh. and you know Mr. Gold is just sexy walking around with, in, with a cane and you're probably like what it's like some old guy who has a limp and is just an old guy, and I'm like, Shit. he's sexy, he's got a cane and a limp, and he's old. <laughs> and I find that sexy. I don't know why. It's like the, the mystery kind of mean, kind of like, something. Like, I probably wouldn't like a guy like that in real life, but I'm just like saying, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> uh, and so Rumpelstiltskin, he's like, he's got a past. He had a son and a wife, but he like, they both died. I think. I can't remember, actually. I think they both died. Um, he lost them, as he says. Um, and so, yeah. He's adorable. I like him. Um, <laughs> I'm, like, saying this like I actually have a crush on them, but I actually don't. I'm just, like, I love them together, and I love to be Belle. <sighs> They're just so cute. They're so cute together. Oh, I love it. It so much. And so I can't wait until the next episode with them. Oh my god. I want them to like come up with it quick. They need to have another one. You know? It's what I want. It's what I need. Okay. <sighs> so cute together. And then like he's just like he's so angry and then he starts like beating this guy saying like <laughs> I can't remember right now. Um like you had her love and you threw her away and then like he starts beating this guy with his cane and yelling like it's your fault not mine and he's like oh it's just so sad like it's so sad i just i bawled so much during the first time that i saw that and i still cry like if i watch the entire episode i cry a lot <laughs> um i don't know why it's just my thing i love fantasy couples and not so much Disney, like, I like Tangled. Like, the, the, the relationship in that is, like, it's awesome. And it has a happy ending. I mean, how much better can you get? It's adorable. 
um, Beauty and the Beast, like the the original, like not the original, but the Disney version, is okay. I can't actually remember the last time I saw it, but like, it's not sexy because you can't think like about two cartoon characters being sexy together. It's more like ah, I want to be a princess, and like that's not what I'm into. I'm into like something else other than that. Like I don't want to be a princess. I just want to be loved by some mysterious dark creature who's actually a man underneath. <laughs> um, but that's never gonna happen, obviously, because it's fantasy. Um. What other fantasy couples? Like, this isn't a real couple, but I wish this would happen. I heard that they actually, like, in the original script of Alice in Wonderland, the Tim Burton version, um, there was a kiss between Alice and the Mad Hatter, and I was like, why did you take that out of there? It's a movie. You can end on, like, a happy note. Like, they kiss, and then she goes back. Maybe it's not too happy, but at least they kiss, and at least the movie ends, and you're like, yes! They kissed and it can't go on, so I got what I wanted. But they took it out because, you know, she was like 19 and he's like 46 or something. And so that wouldn't have worked. Well, it would have worked for me. Um, but, like, not for, like, parents to be like, uh. <laughs> um, other fantasy couples. Mm hmm. Well, Jack and Sally, obviously. Like, there wasn't actually much going on in that relationship. Like, they were just friends. And then he's like, you know what? Her ass is fine. So it's mine. And so he goes up a hill and then he just kisses her. Um, you probably can't hear a word that I'm saying. I just noticed that while I was watching the other video that you probably can't hear a word that I'm saying because I just talk really fast. I don't really pronun enunciate. Pronounce? Enunciate. I don't do either of those very well. <sighs> so, I'm going to try my best to talk slower. The reason I've been trying to talk faster is because I only have 15 minutes. And I like to get as much out there as I can. What was I talking about? Fantasy couples. Other fantasy couples that I love. Oh, Claroline? Hello? Um, Caroline and Klaus, if you didn't know what I was talking about, they're from Vampire Diaries. <sighs> so cute. Like, that's, that, I got the same feeling, like, at the end of the, the, the video where they were, like, talking and, like, having a good time and, like, at his party. Like, I had the f same feeling that I had with Rumble Stillskin and, um, Belle. It was like. <laughs> and then, like, you know, when they get mad at each other and then they, like, walk away from each other, it's like. Um, yeah. And they'd just be so cute together. <laughs> um, other fantasy couples. Other fantasy couples. I have like two minutes left. Less than two minutes. Um, I just read a book. Well, that's not fantasy. I heard, read a book called Legend. Really good. I also read another book called. I want to say Facebook, but it's not. It's, um, The Future of Us. And then I also read another book. I can't remember what it was, though. Let's see, I'm taking it off. Um, it gets itchy after, like, 10 minutes. Or 13, 14 minutes. So, yeah, there are those. Moral of the story is, or not moral, meaning of this whole video is to explain to you I love fantasy couples, like I've said for like ten times this entire video. I love fantasy. Like, I love fairies. I want to be a fairy. Or a witch of some sort. Yeah. I'm so bored and I miss you guys. I miss making videos. So here are two really long ones about what I'm feeling right this hope you enjoyed that.